Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Tamu of Coaching by Tamu and Innovative Education and Training. So why am I here? Well, I'm here because last time I did one of these, we spoke about how tired black women are. That's why you haven't heard from me. I was tired. <laughs> black Caribbean women um, are. And so I wanted to put some more context on you know, what this means and how we can still achieve in the face of all of the social pressures, familial requirements, etc., that we have just by nature of being Caribbean women. You know, we cook, we clean, we look after children. Sometimes we often do not have the male support in the home or partner support in the home. And, you know, we can go into a whole sociocultural rant on why that is. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to talk about how do we still grow our businesses in the face of this. Well, one of the things I've realized from working with so many women across the Caribbean, at this point I've worked with hundreds of women, and we, when we are doing strategic goal setting, you will find that we might set goals that are not appropriate for our context. And because they are not appropriate for our context, we do not achieve these goals. So what do I mean? Example. So let's say you are a single mother, you have two children, they are going to primary school, you know, so they're below the age of, let's say, 10. Even if you have one girl, it's rough, but let's say two. <laughs> but you and you have, a, let's say you make soaps and creams, etc. And you want, you have some key performance indicators. And one of those is that you intend to sell, let's say, a thousand items for the month. Now, you do not have a website. You do not have sales agents. You have these children that you have to look after or other family members as it might be. And let's put on top of that, sometimes you also have a job because in the Caribbean, many uh, entrepreneurs work full time. The majority of them work full time while trying to grow their business. But you are setting goals that are not appropriate, achievable in this context where you are already so filled with responsibility. And so what naturally happens is that you do not achieve the goal because you really could not without support systems. And then you feel that your business is failing. And although they talk about setting SMART goals and the R stands for realistic, nobody ever um, explains what that realistic really means. And for me, it means realistic in the context of your life. As a woman, particularly, not that men do not have these struggles, but my voice is for the female ear generally. Not that um, uh, men don't have those struggles. Sorry for that repetition. But if you have all of these responsibilities, the, though you have the desire to grow quickly, you do not have a support team, then you have to begin to scale back your goals in the context of what you are facing. Now, so maybe you cannot sell 500. Remember, I gave you that case study. No um, team, right, to assist, no website, etc. So maybe we would want to cut to that goal in half. And then what you might want to do is begin adding the support systems that you require in order to help you achieve more um I guess, ambitious goals. And you might be saying, but Tamu Petra Brown, how am I going to add? Because I had to reduce my revenue goal, my sales goal. 
I always talk about tech being your teammate. And so maybe you're not、um, to the point where you can have that website yet, so it's important. But maybe even something like implementing an order form so that you're not frantically responding to DMs in the Facebook, on WhatsApp, on、um, Instagram. But people are requesting your product in a systematic way. Process type manner, which then sets you up for growth, and then you can increase your target、um, sales revenue, target number of items or services sold, because you now have begun to put systems in. Or maybe you are going to get someone who is going to work on a commission basis for you that does your sales. So then you can increase your goals without increasing your exhaustion, without increasing your despair when you don't meet goals that are not realistic and contextually relevant. So until next time, it's Dr. Tamil Petra Brown. Check me out on Tamil. Coaching, um, dot com, t a m u c o h c o a c h i n g. So Tamil Coaching, dot com. I'm on Instagram, Coaching by Tamil. LinkedIn, Tamil Petra Brown,、um, DBA. Bye.